Hi, this is Dr. Shikdar again. So we continue with the, um, the lesson four for the previous video that we had um, designed a form and that allows us to calculate a average test score when we have different uh, test score and to input from the user. So add them up and divide by three, that will average score. So we know how this works. But now in this video, we will learn a a little bit more um, details about the permitting of the output, the average, and also the um, the um, control structure. How can you use um, a control? How can you control your program? Like if then else statement and all that. Um, so how do you use if statement? So we'll see that in this um, short video. So let's um, let's run this application and do one average eight nine seven eight eight seven and maybe nine six so if average average 90.6666 it doesn't actually format here it should should be six seven but it's not so how do you get this fixed first let's go back to the code and Back to this, and here in this two string method, if you put n1, n1, this will actually uh, format your output. And you put in any quotation, the n1 should be in quotation, and this will um, format your output. Let's test it now. Good, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine, seven, average. So now you see that this doesn't come 87.33333, it's actually rounded up and put only 87.3. Okay, and clear it, go back to the code. So this N1 is giving you that permitted output, the rounding up output basically. So now we're gonna do something that that will control the results. So let's say we wanna see if the average results is a particular number, then constellation, you have done well, you got an A grade, something like that. So how do you do that? So we can, Declare a variable here, another variable, let's say double. We can it can be constant or just just double variable. And let's say high, high score. High score equal to let's say 95. So 95 is our high, highest score. So I declare it and then we assign a value to it. Highest score is 95. Now we can have a condition here if if the highest score highest score score greater than greater than ninety five ninety five then we want to display a message here and Mrs. Box Mrs. Box dot show dot show let's put a bracket and put a double quote double quote and you say congratulation 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 you Did a great job. Great job. So I'm going to split this message to the user if the highest score, so not highest score, should be the average. Average 
is greater than highest score. If average is greater than highest score, average again on spelling. So average greater than highest score, then this is box this. So so the, the program will check if this average is greater than ninety-five, then it'll show this message box to the user. So let's run that and see if it is if it does that. Say ninety eight, ninety six, ninety seven. Yep. Congratulations, you did a good job. Right. Clear this. If it is sixty seven, seventy six, sixty five. Rest sixty one It doesn't say anything. So we can change that. We should have another message to show that that it did okay. It did okay. So if you can do that, you can say else, else, and if we curly break it again, we can say message box, message box dot show dot show bracket. You just did okay. Yeah. Okay. Spelling not correct. Okay. So let's run this. Let's see if we get that message if this score is not greater than 95. 56, 57, 56. Average, you just did okay. So you got that message as well. Clear it, get out of the program. So now, you can see that how you can control your program. So if something happened, if you can put some condition and then you can check the average score. If it is greater than high score, then you can display messages. Otherwise, you can display different messages. So you can see how you can use the if else statement to control your program. Thank you. We'll stop here.